Ooh, you got your cute little Lacoste for Mother's Day on? Yeah, your Lacoste on. Wow, what do we, what do we, I didn't realize we're podcasting with a millionaire. <laughs> with, with the coolest kid in school. Yeah. Oh, he's muted. Yeah, nice. Very That's cool. That's good. Yeah. Why is your shit T-K-N-G-H-J-H-O-B-J-O-C-C? This is, yeah, this is what I like. The old computer fucks up, we get a new computer. And we're, there are zero plans to test that shit. <laughs> not looking into it. Not even a second before 3 p.m. We're going to wait until it's time to go. And then we'll... Which, hey, I love it, dude. That's that's kind of... That's my style. Can't that's win. My, Shoot by the hip. Style. Yeah. I, I just love it now. You know, what that, I no? love, you know what I love about the, the quarantine era? Him is, is that the technical fuck-ups are now democratically assigned... To all of us. That's true. My mic didn't you know? work that one time. I, instead <laughs> of it all being on me every fucking time, when it's just like, dude, the problem is computers. And, I agree with that. And Bill Gates. He's and, a pet. Yeah. And he's going uh, to do Zionist, a vaccine that makes us all gay, I hear. The Zionist t- techno, techno disco, mm-hmm. uh, the discocratic, the discocratic agenda. Absolutely. How do I get my name <laughs> there? <laughs> Um, you yeah. have to. I'm tired of these disco crats. I agree. <laughs> just Nick, you can dumb. actually change Adam's name to whatever you want. I don't know if you knew that. Yeah, Why just you, change uh, it to whatever name? you want. Yeah, I don't know. Probably because when you had the Zoom, maybe you didn't set up your computer up the right way. Yeah, yeah. I just got this computer yesterday, so. Yeah. So I yeah, mean, it does. I, I don't think. It. I don't think it fucking matters. Honestly, I used. Uh, what do you call it? Time machine backup. So it should have all the same settings as the last computer. Yeah. It'd be cool if whatever setting carried over is the one that makes your computer <laughs> crash. And then we're like, we're like, dog, get a new, get computer. another one. Every get week. another one, dude. And you're just, <laughs> just have like a $3,000 yeah. a week habit. Now. You're, you're, you're like, eye twitching. And you're like, if, they, if I say anything, they'll call me Jewish. I can't. I can't be. I can't be Jewish no, it was, about yeah, it. it. The accusations of cheapness that really sp- pushed my hand. I gotta say. I sp- of course I it is. Say. Of course it is. I wasn't we don't even, cheap. I got my last computer. Like we don't. Like we don't even have. To, we don't even have to make the accusations. We just go. Oh, you don't want to buy a new computer? <laughs> oh, interesting. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's fine. Yeah. We, no, we just, I mean, I. I'm not making any kind of suggestion as to your motivations or lack thereof. I just, you know. I, I oh, just God. wonder what would possess somebody <laughs> to to be so apprehensive yeah. towards yeah. purchasing something. Yeah, some sort of Zionist persuasion. <laughs> I keep fucking those buttons up. This it's that's the one. That's I keep forgetting. You're, yeah, I feel like when You're I dusty. Press, You're rusty. When I play no, when I play the wrong one, I feel like I need like an Eastern European woman just batting the back of my hands with a ruler. Yeah. Again, you do it again until it's right. <laughs> just some just impoverished. A chick, a chick with just, like a, with like yeah. Elvis sized sideburns. I'm sitting at a, in front of a piano with a bucket o- overturned and there's a bathtub with a turd floating in it. No shower curtain. It's, it's a cold water flat. That's right. On the Lower <laughs> East Side, 19, 1915. <laughs> And I'm, my my Eastern European mother is beating me so I can learn how to be good at the soundboard. <laughs> and that's Dude, what I'm thinking about. That's, that's why we don't produce podcasts mind. like we like the old generations. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's they used to have feeling to them, and now everything's just, now it's just discocratic night. Discocratic <laughs> Zionist stuff. <laughs> Zionist <laughs> discocrats. <laughs> with the, there's no yeah. feeling to it. I watched a bit of that yeah. uh, that that unorthodox show. I, my dad, my dad wanted to watch it as a family. Hell yeah. yeah. We watched it's, the whole thing. It's yeah. weird. Cause it's like, all right, the, the Jew, the Hasidic Jews are the bad guys. And it's like that I get, but mm-hmm. then they're also supposed to be the girl is supposed to be the good guy. The protagonist. <laughs> That's where I draw the line, but she's, she's, she's a bad also, wife. She's That's also Jewish. It doesn't make any sense. I agree. Right. You know, it'd be like a Star Wars if the bad guy was the Emperor, but then the good guy was Darth Vader. It's like that's right. not that's not <laughs> yeah. Doesn't, doesn't make, make sense. sense. Yeah. I've watched the first I've watched almost all the first three except the mm-hmm. end. And that's crazy. Darth Vader's evil the whole time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everybody knows Definitely. that. Definitely. My analogy is not only perfect, <laughs> but flawless also. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> now it'd be funny too if it was like unorthodox, but then it's a story of like a woman that left Williamsburg to escape the Hasid, so she moves to Berlin. But <laughs> she's actually just some like Presbyterian girl who moved there from Minneapolis like two years prior. <laughs> She's like, I just have to get away from these Hasidic I Jews. I have to get out. Of it. They're really fucking annoying. I have to move to Berlin. To... Yeah, no, I mean, the first episode, like they're breaking into a woman's apartment or like kicking down the door and being like, we're going to raise the rent. <laughs> That's, if you that literally yeah, happens. Yeah. yeah, if you don't tell us where the, where she is, <laughs> we're going we're gonna to cut off your, your Wi-Fi. <laughs> and then what? Uh, wait, what is this show? It's just about Jews. It's about, it's about a. It's like based on a tr- yeah true story. This uh, well, actually, Adam, this is kind of your territory. Some chick uh, is unhappy in her marriage, and she's an Orthodox wife. She got she, the wig on. She got the the wig. She got on. the wig and everything, and she wants to leave. Ooh, did and she get she's stuff? Been taking she's been taking piano lessons in secret. Uh-oh. She wants to be a musician. She's oh, trying to get so. her ortho box, you know, mm-hmm. railed out by some some German. Oh yeah, Nazi it's actually a pretty good show. I gotta say, does she get stuffed by somebody else? Yes. <laughs> Hell how about yeah. that? How about like that a white supremacist that. Mexican guy that's like that considers himself Nazi also? <laughs> 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 yeah, we're part of the uh, Nazi also movement. Mm-hmm. It's the Mexicano movement. I'm mm-hmm. Chiqui- uh, Chiqui- Chicano ma- yeah. Nazioso. We love we love Hitler. <laughs> we got, I love we, we just love his style. Wasn't that Hitler one of that wasn't that one of Hitler's plans? He was gonna fucking post up in Mexico, get some tacos and then attack the US. I think from that the was South. what got us into World War One, right? The Zimmerman note. Yeah. Yeah, but you know was, who came up with that shit. It was the Zimmerman note, and then it was also the the bombing of Lu- the Lusitania got us into World War One. Yeah, when the U boat didn't they fuck some kind of some kind of British submarine in World War Two or something? World War One was they the Germans. Oh, I guess World War Two. You're right. The Lusitania. World War Two was when they fucked our asses in Pearl Harbor. Yeah, yes. that's why we got in the mix. Yeah, World War One was the Zimmerman note and the uh, the Lusitania. But it's crazy. The German subs used to just be like fucking chilling off the coast of Long Island. Yeah, that's they wild. were pretty close. Yeah, and they Didn't never they... fired. Yeah, just fucking just giving Billy Joel a hard time. Yeah, <laughs> just all those down east or Alexa guys. He was just on his boat trying to Uptown cheat on his girl wife. sucks, Billy Joel. Uptown <laughs> yeah. girl is for faggots. That song. <laughs> Yeah, why do you why do you talk gay like that? What how do how do like uh old school New York guys talk? Like Islanders. I think they say wake instead of work. It's pretty n- nasal. They say no, wake. The, the wake that's like a New Orleans thing, I think. No, dude, because I just watched Pelham one, two, three and every the original and everybody said it like so that. So good. Yeah, but that's I'm talking about I'm talking about Islanders, like Bay men. I'm not talking about like old New York City guys. Mm. They probably like back, sound more New England. Back in the fucking, guess. back in the like, uh, what is it, the 1800s and shit. Up until then, Long Island was just like fucking, you know, it was like like water hicks. Yeah, yeah. That yeah, was it was like, like whalers and shit. Yeah, yeah. It was like fucking, well, that's what whole Down Easter Alexa is the story of those people, which yes, is it's true. the entirety of my knowledge of. <laughs> Is, so One when I say dog. this, when I say this with authority, I'm just reciting what I've learned from the Down Easter Alexa music video. It is a is Down Easter Alexa can suck yeah. my fucking penis. Yeah, and they kept having to move further and further out into the island, and now there's no island for left for islanders like me. That's mm. fucked up, dude. Yeah, because because what? Because of Guido's? Because of the bitch yeah. that fucking the Long Island medium? Well, you can, actually, yeah, Robert Moses. Robert Moses mm-hmm. fucking. Yeah, I mean, rich sucker. people. Rich people moved to the North Shore, and then the South Shore, shore was all gutted by fucking Moses, who built, uh-huh. like turned it all into public beaches for New York. Fuck Robert of, Moses. A lot of cops moved out to Long Island. City workers, dude. If I see anybody that was related to Robert Moses, I'm gonna fuck them up. Yeah, for why you make everything well just, highways? You should, you should just go with his religion, and then was he one? He who was, was Moses. His name is Moses. So I should I fuck every. I don't, <laughs> You're right. Let's start fucking. Meeting. Let me go. Let me go to an Orthodox yeah. <laughs> fucking. Let me go to an Orthodox fucking temple and be that, like, "This is for fucking Robert Moses's failed reforms." You yeah. fucking hebes. <laughs> that book. That book is responsible for teaching me one piece of information that I should never have been allowed to know. Yeah, which is that the Kessler 
was invented by German Jews to thumb their noses at Russian Jews. Oh, yes. German Jews are the wasps of the Jews. Yeah, oh. yeah. They're, they're like, we don't want to live yeah. next to these, you know, these like kikes. And they're talking about Russian Jews. Wow. Yeah. And then some, like, some drunk Irish person heard it and was like, so that's what you call all you guys, huh? That, okay. yeah. He's He's like, like, oh, no. I like what you got. I like what you got going there, boy. Oh, we got a name for all of them. <laughs> hey, Patty. Yeah. Hey, come tight, over tight. here. Yeah. I got, got a new. Problem. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, they did a cell phone. Classic cell phone. They've done an own goal. <laughs> Damn. I'm trying to get head from the girl from Unorthodox and I'll pull her wig off. She's yeah. um I and think wear she's it. a Zionist plant. She's I'm gonna wear it. I'm gonna take her I, I'm gonna fuck an Orthodox girl and I'm gonna take her wig off and I'm gonna put it on my own head while I get head from her. She's yeah. kind of cute, That's actually. That's the ultimate sign of disrespect to her husband. She, yeah, she looks like she weighs 10 pounds. She's 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 small. She's oh, like five one. No, thanks. I thought it was gonna be one of those like no, she's not nice hefty. fat Jewish. Yeah. She's not Sometimes you matzo drive balls in that fucking. Yeah, yeah. No, you're, you're imagining the the ones that like fucking go around. Where you thinking you're gonna be like fucking some like Italian mom from the sixties? <laughs> yeah, mm-hmm. that's basically yeah, yeah. that's true. Where are you and your friends going? <laughs> just one of those those ladies. That would be awesome. <laughs> yeah, just playing stickball. You know, you're those thirteen. Are, you fuck I'm, somebody's mom. That's I weird to have that like, New York sex when... fantasies about a life that didn't even exist for your own father. What's yeah. that? You're just like, like, yeah, you know, like, oh, that's that was the way to do it. I miss, uh, I miss the is to be miss when uh, we used fucking, to play stickball in 2014 when we all moved to New York. Fucking <laughs> yeah, them, yeah fucking 26 year old men playing catching stickball. a catching a trolley playing <laughs> stickball. The, the mom from the uh, the movie Frequency. I've never seen Frequency. Dude, that one's you should do that. You know, it'd be a nice double feature. Hit me with it again. Having another like. Oh, I wish I smoked weed, but I would do like I would make it a blockbuster night, and I would Listening. go f- frequency and Hollow Man. What's Hollow Man? The uh, Kevin Bacon. Yeah, the Kevin Bacon movie where he gets he, they use science to make him invisible, and he immediately just starts raping people and committing crimes. Was he like started, a good guy before that? I think so. Yeah, I can't. I mean, I don't remember the plot. I think it's that right. I'm sure I'm fucking it up. You know what's also good in that? Mm-hmm. That time period, a stir of echoes, which is kind of just a rip off of The Shining. Mm-hmm. But I, I never n- saw it. You're nostalgic for a very specific three month period of blockbuster night. I feel like that was mm-hmm. like probably the beginning of the summer when those movies came out to rent on video. Yeah, the watch. What, we the, never we never rented the new ones. Never. It was what? always it was library for me. That's where I uh, saw all my movies typically. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mystery Men at the library. One time, I remember mom, finding out they had movies at the library, and I was like, what, "Really? I thought the <laughs> library like, was gay." Yeah, but well, I mean, I like the library. I liked reading, but it's like it, like it, you know, because you don't really understand. Like, it doesn't make sense that some things are you have to pay for everything. Right, You're kind of like mm-hmm. indoctrinated that as a kid. That oh, of course not. No information should be free. <laughs> right, right. Yeah. exactly. Oh no, yeah, no. You should never be entertained. Or, <laughs> I used to check out free, CDs and burn them. Yeah, from the library. Hacker. Yeah, hacker style. Yeah, I didn't give yeah. a fuck about the rules. I loved burning CDs from the library. It's pretty cool. Yeah, I never, I never bought CDs. Never really. I couldn't really download. I mean, you could download one song at a time. Yeah, it was so hard. Yeah. Plus, you had to download pornography. I just got good at, like, well, I didn't even get good at it, but, you know, where you just, like, totally, you know, you pretend like you know what people are talking about, especially with music. Oh, yeah. I was at, like, a huge, because I didn't have cable, so, like, I didn't, people would see music videos, and you could attach a name to something. Right. Mm -hmm. Without access to that, you're just, like, surrounded by noises. (laughs) Without, without, without being attached to anything, no information. Mm Mm-hmm. You don't yeah. know what the songs are about. You can't hear the lyrics. It's just Chinese. It's Chinese. Just Chinese in your head. Yep. You just can't. Without, I agree. Without a music video, I stop understanding English. This is this. This was it's my all It's all Chinese to me. Pal. Did you yeah, see I this? remember. Somebody sent me oh, this. It's Shout really beautiful. It's a good hat. look, dude. It's a great hat. I like that it's low key MAGA, so it'll like freak someone out, and then you'd be like, "Are you triggered?" It's fucking fud. It does look like a MAGA hat, <laughs> <laughs> which does lend to the mystique. Yeah, yeah, especially if you're Chinese. 
They're like, oh no, it's one of those hats. It's one of the hats that's getting mad at me for the bad virus. Um, He's wearing one of the mad about the mad about mad about you, Han. Mad about Paul, mad about Wuhan. Mad, mad about you, Han, with Paul Reiser and uh, the bitch Helen Hunt. Yeah. Yeah, Helen Cunt is more. He's like, like right. Helen, did you fuck a Chinese guy, and now I'm now I've got coronavirus. Why are you corfing all over me? Yeah, why are you getting sh- you getting snot all over the <laughs> all over my mask? You got snot, the snooch and the snitch, yeah, snooch. <laughs> Yeah, like, that show taught me that Jews could marry the, a blonde woman. The greatest Jewish comedies is just repeating words in a fake language they made up. hundred percent. Because she got poofu the schnoodle all over the schnitz. Then she got shambol all it. And then we're supposed to be like, that's hilarious. What great comedy writing. <laughs> yeah, dude. Fuck that. The only good yeah. sitcom, King of Queens. Yeah, that's a good one. Instead, we'll instead we'll cite other comedy shows that are much better. That, without a doubt, or the writing room is filled with it's Jewish just guys. One hundred percent. Yeah, <laughs> that all look and sound exactly like Paul Reiser. Just, yeah. <laughs> and that's they're, the big secret. That's the yeah, big takeaway. They're just be- put them they're better at their jobs. Not they, yeah, the guys put them in the writers' son in fourteen years. Right. Put them in the writers' room they're and just let them write the for black room. guys. <laughs> You put the black guys on the camera and the Jews in the writer's room, mm-hmm. and that's the formula. And there's no reason to mess with it. I and then that's- at some point, you know, like, fucking things got too good, and somebody was like, how about a fat Indian bitch? And it was like, no. You wouldn't we do that with formula. anything else. Nobody's like, how about a fat Indian bitch doctor? We understand it's very important, to, you know, surgery. Yeah. So you wouldn't, <laughs> they would never, you would never do that. You'd never go into a hospital, <laughs> and you're like, I need heart surgery. <laughs> Should I go to? The, I actually this would guy like. Actually, I think I would like a fat Indian bitch if I needed heart surgery. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you don't think you would? I don't know. I mean, I don't. I don't actually have any kind of preference. <laughs> no, I would want I'm a just, horny Indian man. Yeah, I would. I want a, any doctor with decent bedside manner because <laughs> it's like I'll probably die anyway. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, probably a lost cause either way. Probably a lost cause. You want a horny Indian man to why to fuck you in your sleep? Well, he's he was so horny that he worked so hard at medical school so he could have sex. You mm. know, so that just shows you the kind of drive that he has. But now he's having sex. He's already in middle medical. No, school. he's still not having sex. I want <laughs> the plan didn't go. It didn't go according. Okay. The plan didn't go according to to I'm what like, I, I got really you fucked up what you were saying and then you kind of just like lost whatever swag. Yeah, I, I kind of <laughs> like the plan didn't go. Up. Uh, let me just fuck with this thing over here. <laughs> no, nice thighs, Adam. Yeah, nice gay leg. Yeah. <laughs> Why do you sit like a girl? Legs bigger yeah. in uh, quarantine. Your what? How do you make your legs bigger if you can't do squats? I, I have. I have no idea, dude. I I look, I look like a chimpanzee now. <laughs> yeah, I've got chicken legs now. I'm doing pull ups yeah. a lot, but my legs are toothpick. Yeah, I can't. There's nothing. There's literally. I was doing squats for a while with like a weight vest, and then um, you can like wrap uh, resistance bands around your mm-hmm. legs to like reduce the blood flow. Oh, and really? It's like a nice pump, but you know, I don't know. I mean, it doesn't compare to. I I don't carry any fucking weight on my legs anyway, so I have to like work out my legs all the time. That's you, Stav. You don't have to work at all for those. Powerful haunches. That's the but thing, brother. You have, You're you constantly have a di- wearing a weight vest. You have a very, you have very weak glutes that are underdeveloped. No, no, you I do. Don't. You do. I mean, you, no. there's no way you could ever see behind yourself to know. There's mirrors. He has so many pictures of his ass. I have pictures Just of my like, ass. Like he has an trucks, Instagram devoted to it. Trucks mirrors. Yeah, I have like, a series of mirrors. I look at my Stav, ass. Every Stav day. has to check his ass like this. <laughs> <laughs> I have side views on my tits. <laughs> yeah. It's just a this is posture while we'll checking his ass out. <laughs> boop, 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 boop. Fuck, I'm getting hot, dude. I'm gonna have to take yeah, this me video too, off. Dude. It's like a hundred degrees here today. It's so hot. I heard it snowed in New York. Dude, it was Ooh. a fucking blizzard last night. That's no, insane. There was a fucking blizzard. Yeah. It didn't snow though, did it? 
No, it did, dude. I took a video of it. I was yeah, driving around. It was a my dog. Blizzard. Yeah, my dog is out on Long Island right now. It's snowing out there. Yeah. How's your dog on Island? Long Island? My dog's in the Hamptons right now. Nice. Getting pushed from other dogs. No, that's right. no I forget. I forget that with the virus. I forget What's that it? Long Island is in the Hamptons. I know the Hamptons is Long Island. Yeah, I know. Yeah, but for whatever reason, it's like, well, whatever. I guess it's just the geography. I know where the Hamptons. Are. Well, I don't. I know they're further out in Long Island, but when I think of the Hamptons, I think like west. <laughs> so, what technology do? You- <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I have a standing desk. Thank oh, you, very you much. have a power desk. I forgot about that. I have a power desk. <laughs> Wait, does it lift the chair also? No, no. Oh. The chair is regular. It doesn't need get... hydraulic systems to keep me up. Thank you very much. You should get a oh. Professor X set up. <laughs> where it's just a room with like, you know. Yeah. You should get one of those brain helmets. Stop. Mm-hmm. I got I'm, I got a fucking screen and I can see just, what everybody's yeah, jacking off. Stop to. stop sitting like the architect in the matrix and Neo comes in and stuff. Like there's just <laughs> every fast food drive through menu. Yeah, <laughs> go. I will have the McFrosty with double McChicken, I don't know, whatever. I'm fucking constantly I'm constantly crafting the perfect takeout order in any kind of in any manner of millions of theoretical situations. Every calculation has been done to the nth degree. <laughs> Every possible lunch has ever been considered has been done before. And your predecessors will never come up with the perfect lunch. I just want to get out of the matrix. I just want people to be free. <laughs> I got. I'm doing a rewatch for the Matrix trilogy. Mm. What about the first pre-wash? one's a good movie? What about a pre-wash of my dick before it goes in your ass? No, I want it. I want it all natural. I want it yeah. stanky. I, honestly, I think my body odor has gotten worse. Yeah, I got nowhere to be. So I've been you doing. Sh- you probably uh, shower less. I've been. I've been like staying. I've been being clean i started doing like morning routine shit i've been getting into night showering again I which i hadn't my, done since i wash my I face now. Boy. you're washing your face i wash my face because nice. my skin might like this year i like i didn't i never use lotion or anything mm-hmm. and i look at myself and it's like i look like death <laughs> and it's like you know because you, you, you're like irish your fucking skin just goes to absolute shit that's true mm-hmm. it fucking dries out i look like a like a bleached raisin mm-hmm and uh, and yeah. then I started using like lotion, and in a week it's like I'm fine. Yeah, yeah. I don't even need to use lights. Up. I have just to get, moisturize get, every day. You get fucking uh, just the shit like Cerave or whatever. Ceviche. Cerave from Costco. Ceviche. Yeah, ceviche. I just rub ceviche <laughs> on. It's a little bit of wet fish. Yeah. Dude, I fucking love ceviche. I haven't had so some in good. a long time. Yeah. So good. Just throw lemon on that bitch. How does lemon cook <laughs> fish? It's the acid. That's awesome, dude. <laughs> Fuck. I want ceviche. Your yeah. shit's coming in thick right now. I'm serious. What? Yeah. I think you prematurely shaved your head. Yeah. I think you, you, you know, it's funny. You probably had like another three years of having hair left that you, that you yeah, lost. But I got ahead of it. No, I got ahead of the curve. No, dude, you mm-hmm. wasted your 20s. No, I didn't. No, you, could you, have been, you probably just This could have been you, the, dude. You, this could have you, been... You, you could you have brought been the like morning 20s. You'd be like, earlier. what's up? I'm Stav. I'm 27 years old. <laughs> <laughs> hey, girls. Yeah, what's going yeah, on? It's Stav. I'm 27. Hey, I'm Stav. I'm 27 years old. 28, 29. I'm a model. Uh, I'm a hair model, actually. I'm actually a hair model. I'm sponsored by... Yeah, Perfect I Plus. thought I was... I thought I was going bald, but my friend Nick stepped in and told me, like, don't shave it. You're in your head. You're not going to go bald until you're 31. <laughs> and even then, it'll be, like, still kind of okay. Maybe, like, there's a spot or something that's missing. But yeah. luckily, he came I, He came out of a time machine and went, came back, and he told me. He first came when I was a child and took me to go see. <laughs> <The> movies. <laughs> yeah. And tried to get me to commit murder. Yeah, he took me to go see Repo Man as a kid. And then he tried to get me to murder everybody in the city. But then later he came back and he told me, "Don't shave. Don't listen to your bitch girlfriend. Right. You're gonna you're gonna be a model." Even though he did know me at the time, also. Yeah. We also were friends, and you were already in my life. I was, but he was a dr- drinking version. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> <laughs> that guy was a ledge. Yeah. Just go back in time and tell myself, 
at like 21, like, you got to stop drinking. And I'm <laughs> yeah. like, that's gay. <laughs> like, you no. just drunk ass you doesn't even remember it? Yeah, no, it's like... In a blackout. <laughs> <laughs> no, honestly, if I went back in time now and told myself at 20 that I got to stop drinking, myself at 20 would be like, I know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, sure. I can't. <laughs> I know. I'm glad. It's nice to see that eventually I did something that would force me to stop drinking, but it's right. not... It's not this. Yeah. It's not it's proving not- that time. <laughs> Why don't you go back to the f- get us money? Why yeah. don't you do that? Invest do you have any Google, advice? Dumb bitch. Yeah. Do you have any? Do you remember any stocks? No. That maybe. And no, it, even if you did, drinking. it doesn't matter because there's no money to invest in stocks. <laughs> yeah. How could you even help yourself if you went back I, in time? Literally, there'd be nothing that I could do. There'd be a- almost absolutely nothing. Yeah. Yeah, I don't even know what I could have done. Maybe it would we, be. Maybe if we help the world. Maybe if we, you know. No, I'm not. Yeah. Doing that. If I would have stopped nine yeah. eleven. <clears throat> yeah. Um, I, there would be nothing. Anything I, I could. 9/11. Anything I could tell myself to do is shit that I already knew that I shouldn't be doing or should be doing that I just didn't fucking do anyways. Yeah, I guess I don't know what I would even do. I can't be like, don't be fat. It's like, I'm still, I still can't. Do get it. pussy. Yeah, yeah. Get pussy. Stop being a bitch. <laughs> hey, I, I'm here for the future. I'm just here to tell you to try to get pussy. Try to get more pussy, dude. <laughs> try, yeah. try and get, try and do that. Get some fucking box. Adam, you could, there's the relationships you could avoid. Oh, yeah. I, I would have had a ton of advice yeah. for myself. <laughs> do not buy DJ software. Do not, do not, yeah. Do not buy turntables in the house. <laughs> maybe go to law school. Yeah, finish law school. <laughs> yeah, but then even then, that would suck too. And it's also you don't yeah, want to do. Yeah, totally would have sucked. You get, it's like, I would have been married to some annoying Jew. Right. Woman the whole premise of about. like ninety percent of like go back in time fantasies is like tell yourself to be a completely different fucking right. person. Yeah, yeah, it's funny. I guess basically, I'm happy basically listen to what me. we're getting at. Most. We we are living the best case scenario for our dumbass lives. Oh, we got remarkably <laughs> lucky. We're so lucky. This is the we best job in the middle be. of a fucking depression. The worst parts of my life is that games mostly suck now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, I don't know how to put a coffee table in my living room. I keep I can't figure that out. Mm-hmm. Don't know the right space, or maybe I should go end table. Um, uh, I don't know about end table. Well, I got the coffee table. I got the coffee table set up as an end table right now. Listen, bro, you need to get a fucking domestic. Uh, what's it called? Domestic uh, violence charge. You need to get a fucking. Yeah. Just get a get a little rap sheet. Going what is that on. shit called? Uh, interior decorator. Yeah. Well, I'll just have a girl do it. Girls yeah, love yeah. that shit. It could be a girl. Yeah. Or a gay guy. No, I'll just have some girl do it. Just and a she, girl. And then she gets to hang out in the apartment for a couple of weeks. That's the trade off. That's a good trade off. <laughs> yeah, she gets to cook food. <laughs> <laughs> As payment, you get to do the other thing you like doing, which is making <laughs> making dinner. Yeah, you get to make yeah. me dinner and wash my fucking bowls. You get to wash. My- you get to wa- You get to make me fud ruckers at home. <laughs> And I, I want, want a Fud Ruckers level meal. I want Fud Ruckers at home, and I want a Fud Ruckers cookie coupon to take to the center that I'll, the cookie station that I will build. Oh, you'll make your own cookie station, and then you will transition roles, and you'll have to be the cookie, and you have to take my coupon, give me a balloon, and give me a big soft, <laughs> soft baked chocolate chip cookie. He's like, all right, well, when? So, what's the sexual aspect? You're like, and then you can get the fuck out. <laughs> I want you wearing a full Fuddruckers uniform. It's time to replay <laughs> Luigi's Mansion. <laughs> and shut up. Yeah, shut up, bitch. <laughs> it's just Luigi's Mansion o'clock. It's Luigi's Mansion and Fuddruckers time. I'm full you of... Whore. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Who would have thought that life would never get better than eating Fuddruckers and playing Luigi's Mansion? <laughs> I know, dude. Yeah. Fuck. Honestly, the su- summers in like high school when I was just when Madden just came out, mm-hmm. and I was just fucking. I would go home play my whole Madden. Yeah. Summertime, me and my brothers eating ice cream and shit. Yeah. I get home from football practice. I think I'm going to be a professional athlete. Yeah. It's in ninth grade. I'm like, I'll probably, I'll probably go to college for football. <laughs> 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 Moron. Yeah. I 
I'm trying middle to figure school out. basketball team. I'm probably gonna. I'm probably. I could, maybe I won't play in the NBA, but I could play in Europe. Mm-hmm. I remember at uh, <laughs> Dare graduation in fifth grade, the sheriff came to, oh, yeah. for our, like to be like, "You guys just graduated, learning how to say no to drug," and he went around the uh, the. The, cl- the fifth grade class and he's like what do you want to be when you grow up and what it got to be I said baseball player mm-hmm. and on like the car ride home my dad yelled at me he's like you're not going to be a fucking baseball player <laughs> how dare you embarrass me in front of the police <laughs> you told the sheriff you're going to be a baseball player I see that Why sheriff you president of the United States I have to see that sheriff every Saturday night at 2am I mean never mind <laughs> I've never seen him before in my I have life. To see, every time they clean out the public restrooms, yeah. I have to see him. Every Wednesday night, <laughs> I go over to my friend Bill's house, and I see the sheriff there. Oh, never mind, actually. I forgot. D- don't tell your mom. Don't say anything. To don't them. say anything about card, the yeah. sheriff being my boyfriend. <laughs> Which he's not, by the way. What do you mean? Sh- are, do you have the speakers just fucking blasting this? No, I'm on headphones. I'm paranoid. You're paranoid I'm about what? In I'm the sheriff is my boyfriend. The sheriff is my boyfriend. <laughs> no, that would fuck up your dad's secret gay sex relationship for weeks, dude. Yeah. Well, as long, as long as it was happening with powerful men in the community. That's true. Yeah. Your dad was definitely a sub getting topped by the sheriff. No, I don't know about it. You can't, you can't tell. That's what I've heard from friends of mine in the gay community. I think You can't tell I at first we, glance I think we're pretty who a top and who a bottom is. That the sheriff topped your dad. No, maybe the sheriff was in. Listen, maybe it's a your veto dad's situation. Not a Listen, bro. They thought Vito was getting head at the construction site. No. Turns out he was giving head. Vito looks. Vito's a. Whoa! 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 Whoa. I love that. That's worse. (laughs) It's because they've all been to jail. You know. (laughs) Nah, they weren't. They weren't on sus shit in jail. The mafia doesn't do gay shit in jail. I think they do. I think they just don't talk about it. I think that's the code part of part of that thing of theirs. Yeah. And if you are to do gay, and if you are ever to do gay shit, you do not tell anybody about it. Um, speaking of gay guys, R- Little Richard died, guys. Yeah. R.I.P. R. He was arrested in 1962 for having gay sex in a in a public restroom. That's so funny I that they that used to arrest people for having gay sex. Having sex. That's huh? it's that, that's such a hilarious thing to get arrested for. Because <laughs> in in the, like retrospect, it seems like what would make you would get arrested for being gay for acting right. gay. That seems like more, but the actual act of, like, just watching, like, you could be gay in the 60s. I mean, you probably get jumped or something, but you could just, like, fucking go around town being like, I can't wait to kiss boys and, like, <laughs> blowing kisses at no, cops they, and fucking, like, you know, just, like, you know, just sure. doing whatever the fuck you want, Having right? Having earrings on. And the, the cops are just staked out in front of your place, just waiting for you the to suck second, a dick. <laughs> yeah. The second I see a cop yeah. go near that man's mouth, we're pouncing. Yeah. The problem is, is he keeps skating by on technicalities. <laughs> he never actually sucks the dick. <laughs> we can't get him on. We got to get him on tax evasion. <laughs> <laughs> Just some gay mafia criminal that's just going around. He's in the newspapers. It's like, you know, gayest man alive coming out of court, just wearing a dress. Like, yeah, I don't know what to tell you. Guess the witnesses never really showed up. Just Every his man mouth. he's had sex with, he has whacked. Before right, he gets yeah, before he gets just him. dabbing his mouth with a fucking pink handkerchief. And like, we could never actually get him on the gay sex. We had to... We found out he wasn't paying taxes on all the money he made getting fucked in his ass by Barack Obama. <laughs> Luckily, all we that... brought him up on faggoteering. We got him on... <laughs> we got him on... Faggoteering is we, the funniest name for a crime. We got him on butt crackateering. <laughs> God damn, dude. Wait, you said, Adam, you said he wasn't having gay sex. He was watching a straight couple have sex? He had a wife, and he used to get off on voyeurism. I mean, he was gay. Wait, you're talking about your dad again? He used to get off on watching her get fucked by all his friends. This is your dad? No, Little Richard. Oh. 
yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, we moved on. I thought. Yeah. Sorry, I thought you were talking about your dad. Yeah. yeah. So I think he got, well, maybe he got busted in a bathroom, but he also got busted in a car watching his wife fuck. Uh, what are you I doing here, little his... Richard? Are you in jail as well for watching your wife get fucked? Woo <laughs> <laughs> hoo! Yes, I don't have a good little Richard. Why? Yes, I am having watching my wife get fucked as well. He's an unbelievable performer. I was like watching videos. Yeah. It's He's crazy. It's incredible. like you know. It's like I thought he died four hundred years ago. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You remember when Rosa he Parks he was died? Zero of AIDS. When who? Rosa Parks died. I know that was like last week. Yeah, it was like. What do you mean she died? I, yeah, I yeah, think so that's crazy. Some guy on Because as, like, as a kid, to... as a kid, it's history. It would be like, oh my God, George Washington died. <laughs> right, <laughs> you know right, what right. I mean? Like, what? I was like, okay, all right. If you yeah, say so. so. There was some like meme thing, you know, where it's like post a pic. Little you knew you or, you know, like some dumb Twitter excuse to show baby pictures. Uh, and some guy like our age posted a baby picture where Rosa Parks is holding him. And it went uh, viral because it's like, what the fuck is this? Like, yeah. Rosa Parks held you as a baby. Yeah. But it makes sense. 30 years ago, she was just some old ass lady. Yeah. I know. You forget that she rode that bus in like, what, 1997? Yeah, I think. it was 97. Yeah. Yeah. It was right after the 96 Atlanta Olympics, I remember. Yeah. Then, and then they were like, we got to end this race. Now, stat, dude, it's fucked up, dude. There's like pictures of MLK eating pizza, playing pool. <laughs> yeah, that's weird. What do you mean pizza wasn't? You didn't think pizza? Was I don't enough? know, man. Again, it's a historical guy who shouldn't be eating pizza. Well, it's that it's crazy too. The sunglasses, the cool MLK picture that people. <laughs> it's such a dumb. Oh yeah, people they post shit. that every time. <laughs> It's a it's a dumb thought, but it's like you know, as a kid, you're learning about the fucking civil rights movement, which was the '60s, which was only like 30 years ago, right? And it's like if we were learning about the '90s now, and it's like, what's different? It's like we have less soda. Yeah, mm-hmm. there's different. There are. They've, there's they've different types right. of soda, but culturally, things haven't changed that much. I guess there's like some pronoun stuff, but it's not like we got Netflix. There's still a lot of that shit's still up for debate. It's not like in the 1990s there was guys, you know, like just fucking on TV being like, they should still be slaves, I think. You know? <laughs> <laughs> like, the, the, the debate about racism. There, was, like, there, there was a shocking, like, I remember I was just watching that Jordan documentary and who the fuck was the, who was the North Carolina senator, like Jesse Helms, who was still... Trying yeah, to get, yeah. he was still trying to get segregation to pop off again. He was mm-hmm. like, he, was, he wanted school segregation. He wanted school yeah, segregation yeah. in yeah. like 1997 or 93. <laughs> and it's like, what the fuck? It's the dude? early 90s, yeah. <laughs> That's yeah. hilarious. <laughs> and he was like, well, look, he was like, I'm not going to say what I think, yeah. but it should be a choice. And if the states want to segregate, that's their choice. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Nick, you should really watch the doc. It's, it's so good. Watch he's me. such a he's such an amazing like subject because he's such a piece of shit. Who Jordan. your dad? Who are you talking? Yeah, about? and he's like your jaundiced f- and alcoholic. Your he father? Does look cool now. His eyes are yellow. Are you talking about your he's, dad again? Yeah. No, I'm talking about Michael. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Michael, good to see you here. Yeah, in yeah. In jail for watching I, other people. Me and the shit. sheriff met Michael Jordan <laughs> at a <laughs> memorabilia <laughs> event last week at the convention center. <laughs> And he fucked my ass twenty three times, and he and he said, "There's your autograph." Said, How's he that? He signed for... his name on my back in cum. He's yeah. He, he yeah. <laughs> I hung onto the ceiling fan, and he jumped from across the room and shoved a basketball up my ass. <laughs> It was me and the sheriff. We had to fish all six of his championship rings yeah. out of my ass at one point. And I told him that you wanted to be a baseball player, and he laughed. <laughs> he laughed and laughed and laughed. And he said, that's the gayest shit I've ever heard. <laughs> that's the, I've never heard such a gay thing. I would be embarrassed to have him as a son. And I had my own father murdered. <laughs> That's I what he said. I wasn't even good at baseball. I was like on a team. I was pretty bad at that point. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I believe that. I didn't think you were it was. It was pretty delusional to say. One time there was a family. Uh, 
we went to a birthday party and like the only rich Greek family that we knew and they used to go all the way out like they they hired they hired like uh they had like balloon animals a caricature guy a bouncy house. And the caricature guy asked me what I wanted to be when I grew up, and I said I wanted to be a, uh, a bum. And he drew me as a homeless guy. Yeah. It was one of my, that was one of my finest moments as a child. Damn. Now I want to watch one of those, like, 60s period pieces. Should I watch Green Book and The Help? I got to buy some weed. <laughs> I hear Green Book's really funny. I watched half of Green Book, and then I got, it's, it kind of got repetitive. I'm sure. I'm, I didn't see it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's like they go, t- they go town to town, and they're like, "Do you mean I can't use the bathroom because I'm a black man?" And then you know he's like, "Hey, why, why ain't you letting them use the frickin' the bathroom for?" Hey, you know? the turds is all the same color. Hey, we all got the same turds, and then Everybody they go to the- shits brown, pal. And then they they drive to the next town. He's like, "This is my life as a black man," and he's like, "Hey, I can't believe it," you know. And then they go to the next place, and they're like. We ain't let colored fellas use the make your own waffle station at the hotel. Sorry. And he's like, you mean as a man of color, I cannot make my own waffle. And then, you know. It's quite all right, Gino. I have my own pancakes. Yeah. Just let the guy make his waffle. We've never seen such a freaking thing like this before in our lives, except for the last town where it just happened fucking five minutes ago in this fucking movie. And then they go to the next he's place. He's gay too, right? Yeah, he's, the black yeah guy? he's gay and he's black. And then the this, this story is they meet up with a South African guy in, uh, in Las Vegas at some point. <laughs> no, and, that's oh, not in the movie. I don't know. Sorry. I thought, I, I, is that I, real? It was I in, remember that scene. Oh, yeah. It's not in the movie. It was in the, it the was sheriff's in the about to have him arrested, and then he's like, mm-hmm. actually, I think my boyfriend will like you two fellas. <laughs> yeah. Actually, I got a boyfriend named Adam Sr. <laughs> I was dying to meet a couple of a pals from Brooklyn. He said his his son wanted to be a baseball player, but instead he met some fellows from Brooklyn who set him straight, and he's trying to be set straight in a similar fashion. Either way, Sheriff, if it means I have to fuck this man's ass to go on with my piano recital, so be it. Yeah. He <laughs> He's Frazier. Yeah. yeah. I just we were talking the other night about how he was. He thought OJ was innocent, <laughs> and he was like, "That's just he's how too cute man. to commit a crime." No, he's like, "That's just how black men are treated in this country." <laughs> Damn, dude. Damn, you gotta have. You gotta be fucking like off your shit. You come from South Africa, the United States, and be like, "The problem here, racism." <laughs> It's no, like that's like the one that's the one thing. That's the one place. The, you make that there like, is the one the one country that you can point at and be like, actually there was. And a lot of people get upset <laughs> Israel, at that. They're you know? like, oh, they're yeah, Israel probably. No, apartheid was over at that point, but also we had to leave because my dad was on a government enemies list. Yeah, mm-hmm. for being too gay. Yeah. For being too gay. Yeah. And like we got him. We finally got the we got the tape. <laughs> we see- yeah. <laughs> Two South Africans. Oh, yeah. he's making contact with the we, penis. We got the tape. We finally have the tape of him uh, getting uh, fucked in his ass so we can uh, prosecute him. And oh, he's good on a plane. He's taking. <laughs> he's got diplomatic immunity. <laughs> diplomatic immunity. It's hopefully uh, the virus we released uh, a couple of years ago ran here in Africa to deal with the blicks, makes its way to America <laughs> and takes care of the escaped geese. <laughs> A lot of people don't know uh, that had, AIDS was AIDS was invented by uh, by South African. Mm-hmm. South African. What's up? South Africa invented AIDS. Not yeah, to try and catch your father. Yeah, it was actually a, a Chinese fire way to infect him. A Chinese guy fucked the bat, and that's where AIDS came from. <laughs> Isn't it a monkey? Didn't don't people say a black guy fucked a monkey? And that's yeah. where it came from. Yeah, yeah. That's not true, is it? Is, or is that Ebola? Uh, mm. No, it's AIDS. They said it came from sex with animals. Yeah, H H H guy V. H guy V. Did Ebola come from eating a monkey? Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't remember. No, that's I got some fucked up sickness right there. I got some edamame yeah. spaghetti. I'm gonna try tonight. Okay, how does that know. work? Exactly? Oh, that's nice. I don't know if it'll be good or not. Do you mean you you chop the edamame up into spaghetti? No, it comes. It comes. It's like you know how you get like. Spaghetti that's made like out of other shit. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I like that. Yeah. 
It's like green tea noodles, but with edamame. I'll fuck with that. Oh, I want to get some of that fucking tea that uh, Ari had. That was good ass tea, dude. So good. That ho- tea. Hojicha. It's Hojicha. He said. Send the name. It was, it's Hojicha is what the name is. It's yeah, like, Hojicha. It's, like a, yeah, it's like. Um, it's a roasted green tea. Yeah. Hojicha. But I don't know. It has like a earthy, woody. I think you got to order it online. And then yeah. I don't have one. I want one of those like, you know, those like ritual suicide tea sets also. Yep. I want to start drinking my tea like a real asshole, just bowing to it and shit. <laughs> Ain't nothing wrong with that, Paul. Yeah. Get a little fucking tea up in your system. Ritual and sacrifice. That's the that's the motto for the summer. Mm-hmm. That's the motto. YOLO. <laughs> <laughs> what, if, what if that was how every motto ended? Like, <laughs> Motel 6, we'll leave the light on for you. That's the motto. YOLO. <laughs> it's just every every time you heard a motto, that's, awesome. just, yeah. that song is so good. Yeah, the uh, Amico Double A MCO. That's the motto. YOLO. Yeah, Amco Double A Beep CO. Yeah. Amco Double A MCO. <laughs> that's the motto. YOLO. <laughs> The quilted quicker picker upper. That's the motto. YOLO. (laughs) (laughs) Plug it in, plug it in. That's the motto. (laughs) Plug it in, man. Plug it in. (laughs) By minute. Yeah. That's the motto. (laughs) You're going to like the way I look. I guarantee it. That's the motto, YOLO. <laughs> Damn. Did they muscle my man out of Men's Warehouse? I don't see him anymore. Yeah. Think, well, yeah, as yeah. right after the fucking Trayvon shooting, they were like, you got to go. <laughs> <laughs> like, you, we can't. You can't do it. You can't be, na- you can't be that guy. So Was he uh, saying, Was did it have anything to do with Trayvon? His what? name was George Zimmerman. Oh, oh yeah. right. <laughs> And they just hired the actual George Zimmerman to be the guy afterwards? Yeah, they yeah. just fucked up completely. We got a new guy. You're going to like the way I fuck. This I guarantee some it. sort of Mexican. I'm going to start saying that. You're, you're going like to like the way I fuck? You're going to like the way I fuck. I guarantee it. <laughs> you're bad. in a suit. You're in a giant suit, double-breasted suit before you fuck a woman. That's one of the most successful ad campaigns of all time, and it's like such a shitty like small business owner that buys local TV spots like idea for a good ad. I know. Like what I'm going, I'm going to go first with my word because, and I was telling my son this, what people want is your word. And that's what matters <laughs> is you giving people your word because people your word. People want a guarantee and they want your word. They All want you the, have is your good name uh, and your word. That's what you got in life is that you have your word. <laughs> And it's like, all right, well, this ad, this commercial sucks. So yeah. <laughs> he just kept no, fucking. It'll just, just be me. Yeah, it's going to be me, and I'm going to be sitting there, <laughs> and I'll have the clothes on, making them look worse than if they <laughs> were just on a mannequin, because I'm I'm built like fucking grimace. <laughs> he was, he, was he had a good he had a uh, gravelly voice though. I'll give no, him you're that. confusing him with Harvey uh, Firestein. Yeah, you are. <laughs> Harvey Firestein would have been a better spokesman. George Zimmerman. Yeah, George. It's George Close. Zimmer, not George Zimmerman. It's George Zimmer. Yeah. Oh well, then what the hell. Too close. Yeah. Yeah. Why G- George Zimmerman still hasn't? Yeah, but it was him. very much the same. It's a Papa John's. Oh, model. this guy's ugly. Yeah, he's ugly. Mm-hmm. Where you have the CEO be the face. He wasn't fat though. He just had a really big schnoz. Did he? He had a beard, if I remember correctly, right? Yeah. But you're right. I pep- was thinking of higher Salt and Pepper Daddy. Yeah. They're very similar. Yeah. Both gay men. Mm-hmm. Oh, wow. Do you know my friend and the sheriff? Hey, George, I got a couple of boys to introduce you to. You're going to like the way I fuck. I guarantee it. <laughs> I, I hope so. That's the <laughs> motto. <laughs> YOLO. Well, I can't wait to find out. <laughs> 
You know, Sheriff, I like that man. He guaranteed it would feel good to get my ass fucked, and I trusted him. Stay tuned. Better ingredients, better pizza. That's the motto. YOLO. <laughs> I'm out. Peace. <laughs> what did that tell you? That interview ended. <laughs> Am I going to apologize? Fuck no, I'm not going to apologize. That's the motto. YOLO. And I told them that on the conference call. <laughs> I was just doing the motto. I said, we got to stop thinking like business partners and start thinking like, like we're a couple of just loped up working together on in the trap. Y'all, I've just, I, y'all I just saw boys in the hood for the first time. <laughs> And I've kind of been put off by all kind of gangster rap because of, you know, uh, the song Pimp Your System where they robbed the pizza delivery driver. Uh That was the first, that was the only rap song I ever heard. So I never listened to after that. But I watched Boys in the Hood and I got, we got to stop thinking like teammates and start thinking like, you know what I'm saying? They're like, uh, no, no, no. uh, John, you're on a conference call with the entire company. I don't care. I'm rich. <laughs> There's aerial photos in my house. You know how fucking rich you have to be to have aerial photos of your house sure. online? He's out there in Louisville, right? Doesn't he live in Kentucky? It looks like a yeah. god a goddamn six flags. <laughs> and I'll tell you what, half those flags are racist. <laughs> it's the fucking American flag, the Kentucky flag, Confederate flag, a swastika, that's Gadsden. that snake. Punisher. Punisher. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Matter flag. You don't know. You know about that snake. That snake's my. <laughs> me, me and that snake, we with each other. I'll tell you right now. Stay tuned. Uh, shout out to Johnny Schnatz. Yeah. John Schnatter. Yeah. What's he doing? What's he up to? That's his quarantine. He's probably got a nice Have estate. You... What you say, Adam? Have you been get all their ads now say that they do contactless delivery? Yeah. You been getting them? Yeah, you just the fucking delivery guy just leaves it on outside, you go down, you get it. Mm. I loved it when I con- them we made contact, you know what I'm saying? Mateo was Big saying Mateo stuff. was I was talking to Mateo, he said one of his friends sucked off a delivery driver. <laughs> a gay bad? Gay guys rock, dude. mm mm-hmm. Mhm. They absolutely rule. That makes sense, though. If you're going to make contact, make it with somebody you're going to make contact with anyway. Mm-hmm. So d- delivery people should start having sex with people. This guy I knew in college claimed that when he was a high school pizza delivery man, he had a threesome. But I th- always thought he was lying about it. It could be true. Some, it could be some true. Wild, said there were... wild shit happens out there in the, in the wild world. <laughs> that, that, was your, that was your domain. <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> How many threesomes did you have as a pizza delivery driver, Nick? Well, none, but, you know, I mean, <laughs> you'd hear about it. You'd definitely hear about it. You'd hear about it from other guys that were even less attractive than I was at the time. <laughs> yeah. Do you every ever, uh, every pizza do you restaurant pizza? every pizza restaurant has the same set of drivers. It's like a kid who's still in high school that's a nerd. Right. It's uh, the hero of the story who will go on to become famous. Right. <laughs> <laughs> There's there's the an older Indian guy that curses a lot. That's true. Uh, there's an older African guy usually. Classic. What about a classic like stoner burnout? The stoner burnout is always a guy that's in his like mid forties and still like upside down visor. Yeah, fucking, still exactly. acne. Yeah, just yeah. but like the fucking uh, what's it called? What's that movie about the dad who does ecstasy with his son? Small town ecstasy. Small town ecstasy. Like the dad the from best. the dad from small town ecstasy. Like the, every pizza place has one of those guys. Hell yeah! You know, it's a delivery driver, like fucking divorced, living in like the apartment complex for fucking nineteen year olds. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. playing hacky Still sack. Still party. Yeah, 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 dude. I can't wait. We're you know, this weekend. Me and Brian, we're going out to fucking the lake. <laughs> Fuck yeah, dude. Yeah. There's that guy. You should watch that documentary stuff. We've talked about it before. But Small Town best. Ecstasy? Fat yeah. guy. Skater shoe fat guy. That's yeah. a big one. Mm-hmm. Salute Where to that guy. Yeah. Skater, this skater shoe fat guy. <laughs> <laughs> fat white guys that do West Side. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Skater shoe fat guy. Fat skater white guys that do West Side <laughs> pictures. Uh, yeah. <laughs> That's such a good guy. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, for sure. For sure, he's at every pizza restaurant in the country. That's awesome, dude. Let's yeah. write the sitcom. 
God damn, that's I want to go to I want to go to fucking po- uh, uh, Pizza Hut and hit up the the Pizza Hut. They have they have the uh, do they have a buffet there? A little pizza buffet. Maybe in Queens they might. I think they're running out big time. Because I, I I used to, I never I was never a Pizza Hut guy. It was always Domino's or Papa John's. Oh, I was a big Pizza Hut guy. Pizza Hut is the best. It's just it was never like order. Maybe birthday parties. You would have to go. You would have to go in person. They yeah. did delivery in Vegas growing up. Not yeah. in Greek town, baby. You had to go. The fan. It was a big deal. Put on a college. Some shirt. some of them. Yeah, some of them delivered. Or you know what? Takeout. That's what it fucking was. They did takeout for. That's sure. why I never had Pizza Hut. Yeah. I remember. I remember stuffed crust pizza coming out when I was a kid. Yes, sir. The technology and that then, went into that. And going Jesus. to going to Domino's with my dad. It was a day going to like, like the car parts store and then fucking Domino's. And I remember yeah. it's like you know you're a kid, so you're like we'd order Domino's delivery, but I don't think I'd ever been in the Domino's. Mm-hmm. And there's nothing there. It's just the counter and then like the menu up yes. in the ceiling. And I remember being like such a like such a jarring experience. <laughs> yeah, dude. And then to my, realize it's only for delivery. Yeah. And then my dad being like, what did you say that, what was the thing that you wanted? You know, and I was like, the stuffed crust pizza from the commercial. And they're like, they're like, no, we don't do that. We don't pizza do, Hut. That's Pizza Hut. And I was like, oh. Meanwhile, that's, that's all so you, you're sad. a little ass kid. That's all you're thinking about all day. Yeah. You're like, I can't wait for stuffed crust pizza. Yeah. It was my fault. I mean, I didn't know there was a difference between, I thought they had invented like right. there was like there's been a breakthrough in pizza. In pizza technology. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then suddenly it was yes. just everywhere. Yeah, a hundred percent. It's if it's it's like if one kind of company wasn't using motors. And then you finally have it like carriages. you finally have it like six months later, which when you're like six years old, that's like decades. An eternity. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, and then it sucks. It's not good. It's, <laughs> it's like It's like it's like a string cheese fucking thing in the middle of it's it. It's very melty, thick and it's thick. it's not hot. Yeah, Man, exactly. It's disgusting. And the Pizza Hut crust is better, the regular, the, because it's not pan. Yeah. It's not crispy on the bottom anymore. Yeah. Yeah. You learn your lesson. You learn, that's the first time advertising let me down in a real big way. Yeah. Because you see the stretch. The stretch is what you want. The brother. stretch is really. Do you incredible. believe? Do you believe in subliminal messaging and advertising? Oh uh, yeah. Because I I feel like, but that it works. Because I remember there was when the KFC Twister came out, mm-hmm. which was just it's just a fried chicken wrap. There's nothing special about it. Yeah. But I remember seeing the ad and being like, I need to have that right fucking now. <laughs> yeah. I need that now. That and, happened to me and my little brother with the Burger King chicken sandwich, the long one. Yeah. I remember when that came out and it was – because there was an Italian family that would like get you know dressed up to go to Burger King. They brought me with <laughs> – they brought me with one time and that was the only time <laughs> I'd ever been to Burger King. Wow, your whole life ever? Yeah, it was never fucking – always M- Mickey D's, McDonald's man. family, me too. 100%. Burger Elvis King's family was a Burger King family. Well, he's a fucking what? retard. Yeah. Dude. For he's real, an and Taco Bell. This, Taco Bell's Honestly, a, Taco Bell's all right. I like Taco Bell, but I, I mean, still Taco like. Bell used to be good. But I mean, Taco like El- Elvis now. loves. Put your fucking st- eyebrows down, you snob! It's Taco still, Bell is bad. It's now. now. No. You know what? You can suck a dick. Taco Bell is just sour cream now. Oh it's my too god! Much Adam, sour stop! Cream. Stop! Get off your fucking okay. horse, mate. Taco Bell in New York City, especially. You know what I like oh, that they do? Fast my, food in New York is a step back. My favorite move used to be getting drunk as shit and then driving to Taco Bell and getting the that grande, was all of high school and getting me. the grande meal, and then they came out. They test marketed. I don't know if it went everywhere, um, but it was called the Taco Party, which mm. was two more tacos over the, <laughs> over the grande meal. So you get 12 tacos because Del Taco had that. Del Taco had it was $6 for 12 tacos. I remember that. And it's like, how the fuck are there homeless people in Los Angeles? This is socialism. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah, eating fucking dog food. (laughs) Warmed up dog food in shells. I don't care. Now I kind of want Del Taco. I miss huh? the whole. I miss the whole. The whole range of taco bullshit. Taco options yeah. in the southwest. We had we had Del Taco Taco Bell, and then we had a place, a local chain called Roberto's that we used to go to. Yeah, we're not, pretty sure they just and, served dog. And, food. And we're taking local chains out. Yeah, we're, it's only the only the dog shit because a lot of the places have taco chains. Like Austin, when I lived there, you go to any fucking any single one of those like strip malls or what are the shopping centers that are called? Yeah. And there's a hole in the wall place that has fucking banging tacos. Of course, yeah. Compared to what you would regularly. We're talking fast food here. 
We're talking fast food. So your options are Del Taco, I don't think was in Austin at the time. So it was just Taco Cabana and Taco Bell. And Taco Dude. Cabana I can fuck with. I like the vibes in Taco Cabana. <laughs> okay, I'm not familiar with the Taco I get it. Cabana. It's got a very fucking like late 80s kind of... Uh, neon? Uh, neon? I don't remember if there's neon, but kind of like white subway tile, if I'm remembering okay. correctly. And like okay. sort of like uh, one of those like... Kind of that like gaudy look of like the early 80s. Where it's, Cabana's like, a great word. Cabana's too. a great word. It's just, yeah, there was a fucking style. I to go to my Taco Cabana. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember going in there. I remember going in there with a pizza. It's like proper, like only Mexican people went there and just get called pinche gringos the whole time. Mm -hmm. They just like we'd have to like. You describe your interactions. You say these things as if we don't. We've never been around Hispanic people, (laughs) but you describe your upbringing, and it's like there's Hispanic people. These Hispanic people would just call me a fucking cracker. But here's the thing, Nick. The thing you're not realizing is Adams. Unbelievable unlikability amongst yeah. minorities, uh, yeah. and it's just my face too. <laughs> yeah, I don't even have to open my like, mouth. We haven't experienced this because nobody viscerally hates us because of yeah. our faces. Well, well it'd be like it'd be like if Las Vegas, be like if, if Las Vegas had a take, lot of black it. people in it, and he was talking about growing up around black people as if they fucking like were just constantly. <laughs> haranguing him for being like just a dumb cracker like we would go to Ooh. KFC and they would bully us out of there and it's like <laughs> what no <laughs> the fuck are you talking about dude everyone disrespects Adam though you gotta yeah. understand imagine him it's, as a that's true as a 13 year old that's true I, got a, I almost like got that's... jumped by the Mexican girl gang you said uh, when I was a freshman in high school you've said yeah. you've said as much there's you've there said, was the you've scary, said there was scared you have said as much I know <laughs> It's been said. <laughs> it's been said. It's, it's been lifted. It's been, it has been written. The story's and been told. And I was told. like, listen, you're a Selena fan. I'm a Selena fan. Let's just find some common ground. We don't have to, we don't have, to have guns on the streets. I'll tell you what. We're going to take a five-minute break while I go make a coffee and piss. And you guys All are right. going to continue talking. I'm going to piss too, actually. Adam and oh, I have to pee as well. You can piss. We're just make them watch. I'm going first because I said I said I'm going to piss. You go do they want to watch? But they should. We should. We'll do it in computers shit. in the bathroom. Yeah, you know what? Actually, like... we could just we could all just walk away from the camera, and then we could tell the audio guy. So when they do the uh, the audio they version of this it. tonight, no, we'll just put in. Um, we'll put Music? in. Uh, yeah, Moonlight Sonata. Moonlight Sonata. By <laughs> Beethoven. Nick, just do no, a screen share. Sh- I want to hear. I want to hear. I want to hear Stav's rendition. <laughs> <of it. laughs> I know the beginning is. <laughs> But it's a beautiful That's piece Kobe of music. Kobe Bryant's favorite song. It's a beautiful piece of music. Why don't you go ahead, Nick? Go ahead and take that piss. Go you pee. Talk about some guys. So, yeah. Just the fellas. What's up with you, mate? Nothing, dude. I, d- we was, uh, I saw my sister was going through pictures of my mom for Mother's Day, old pictures. Yeah. And they did, my parents did a photo shoot where my mom was... Just vacuuming in one picture, mm-hmm. uh, cooking in another picture, but it was like with a professional photographer. Oh, nice f- photographer! Yeah, that's cute. And it was, I don't know, I guess that's something people did. Or... <laughs> yep, how's that's... your mom? You talked to her for mothers, me and uh, me and little V, you know, we had that nice, fucking long motherfucking FaceTime with the whole squad. I love that, yeah, you know, I don't have that many hot pictures of my mom. You know, I saw some pictures, your mom was looking good, man. I just have to say, out of respect. She's a beautiful woman. She's a beautiful woman. And I have to say, you she look was. a lot like her. I do look a lot you like my a, mother. You Thank a, You God. have a beautiful woman's face. <laughs> Thank God. Honestly, yeah. I didn't I didn't think you could be trans before, but after looking at pictures of your mom, I think yeah. if we yeah. shave that nose down a little bit. I well she she did. So oh, yeah. interesting. Yeah. Apparently she got in a car accident and then when my parents were married and then uh, went to the doctor and he said, did you ever have any cosmetic surgery? And my dad was like, no, she hasn't. And she's like, actually, yes. And oh, he was, he, damn. He was, uh, he didn't know that. He didn't know he got catfished. 
She looks cute. She looks cute though with the with the big shots. With the schnozola. I think so. I thought you were gonna say they got she he got she got into a car accident and they just took the opportunity to, to shave her nose down. And no, then... no, no. <laughs> yeah, that's why Jewish girls are just constantly <laughs> filming Louise. Just driving into brick walls. <laughs> yeah. I I have I don't know what, what happened. It was my nose. We were just talking about how Adam's mom was hot and he looks like his mom, so he could probably be trans and pretty fuckable. I, yeah. I saw some pics, yeah, of me as a little kid where I looked definitely like a little girl. You've said as much. You've said as much before. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I'm going to piss then my turn. Yeah. Then it, his turn to what? Then his turn to pee, I guess? Or then his turn, I don't know, I have no idea what he's talking about. Yeah. Have you been good? You're making plyo boxes? I did. I made my plyo boxes. I did it a dumb way, though. I fucking... What I would normally do is get a piece of quarter-inch plywood. Mm -hmm. And then I would, with the jig, with that, cut a template for the interlocking sides. And then transfer from that template using the router table, those tabs, onto Uh each individual face. And then just make, make, like, mated templates. So that I can mm-hmm. slap them on to each face, center them, and then that way it's like dead center for each one of those tablets on the router table. But instead, I fucking just use the jig for each individual panel. And I don't know if you. Oh, used... and then you had to just keep cutting it down. To yeah, because jigsaws are fucking garbage. Yeah, they're really not worth anything. Yeah. Um, and then so yeah, it took it took much longer than it would have because in my head I'm like I'm only making two of them. So I don't need a template for that. But it's like, well, two of them is 12 pieces. So of course I should... Oh, in a box, yeah. So of course I should be using a fucking template. It's Maybe actually, it's 12, pieces? it's... No, because oh, it's two boxes. Two, yeah. It's two boxes, yeah. and then it's fucking, each face has four sides. So right. wh- what is, who, no, who can even do that math? It's fucking... That's so many. 12 times 4, 48? F- f- yeah, 48, yeah, 48 fucking sides I cut with a jigsaw. Instead of just making That's a lot of work. Instead of just making a fucking template and using the router tape. Yeah, that would have been a lot smarter. It would have been a lot smarter. How hard is it to start doing a handstand push up? Uh very easy. It's easy? Yeah, you just you like slowly increase the range of motion. <sighs> okay, I PP now. Yeah. Well sir, I'm, I'm gay, sir. Hmm. Ooh, what were y'all talking about? Uh, the best way to make plyo boxes. <laughs> it's just two, four pieces of fucking wood. Um, yeah, but you gotta like, you gotta make a mineral lock on the sides. You can't just because then you, if you don't, then you'll have one face that's, or you could put something internally. So you can't just use like butt joints on all four sides. You gotta fucking get something nice in there. Yeah, well, uh, or you just make, like, tabs. But I was saying to Adam, I waste all this time because I cut each, like, side with a jigsaw rather than... And then it's mm. a fucking... Jigsaws suck. You fucking idiot. Yeah. But next time... I mean, because I might, you know... If I, like, I, I made these because I do handstand push-ups at these 8-inch stools. Mm-hmm. And, and now I can do, like, 15 with the 8-inch stools. So I needed to move up. So I made these 12 by 14 by 16. So I figured I start with twelve, and then once I can do fifteen with twelve inches, flip it, do, mm. you know, then twelve with fourteen or fifteen with fourteen inches, and then fifteen with sixteen inches. What a fucking genius! You know, and but I tried with the six to just like stack them on the end, and I can get like four, I guess, with that. So uh, there's like no real reason to even the twelve and the fourteen inch sides are fucking waste. Mm. So. I might now make, you know. Well, now I make 18 by 20 by 22. Damn, nice. Which I don't even That's know. That's get strong. So what, you're fucking, what does that make? Your shoulders strong as fuck? Yeah, well, no, handstand push-ups are good because it works like your whole, your whole upper body. Nice. So your chest, your shoulders, your upper back. It's like a, it's pretty well balanced. But the thing is, it destroys your fucking wrist. Mm. With that, with the phone all day long, and now it's like I'm just in pain constantly. Shit. Yeah. You need to wear fucking little fucking things, dude. I don't, yeah, I don't have braces. I've never little used carpal like, tunnel braces like a fucking secretary. Yeah. That's what you should need to be wearing, dude. Secretariat's a weird name for a horse. Secretariat? Yeah. What well, the fuck is this? Like what the fuck is this? Secretary? Yeah, with the, the secretary and the 
and then proletariat would be combining the two. I don't know. Terriot. What is Terriot as a suffix as? Yeah, my name is uh, Secretariat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, how you doing? My name is Secretary Winslow. I'm a police officer here with the Chicago mm-hmm. Police Department. <laughs> That's a wide receiver for LSU, dude. Secretariat Winslow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I tried to do some push-ups and my shoulder hurts. Yeah. I need some fucking surgery. Yeah. When did you do the push-ups? Uh, yesterday. Uh, Fucked my shoulder up, mate. Yeah, it's yeah. my old injury. How I'm bad? I'm even fatter now. I also tried to press. That was my issue. I tried pressing. How? What do you I mean? I just do curls. What do you mean you tried pressing? Fucking shoulder press. Uh, I, I heard my shit benching like fucking months ago, and now it just sucks. Now it just hurts. Yeah. I'll never be the fucking specimen I should be. But I'll just do biceps until I'm fucking... I got big-ass buys. No try work whatsoever. Yeah. Front of my arm looking nice. Uh (laughs) Uh-huh. Damn, I want uh, macaroni and cheese. Nice. Why don't you make some? Oh, you got... Don't you got the little edamame spaghettis? I do. I'll have edamame spaghetti. I'm like... I went to piss, and I think I pissed out the only energy left in my body. (laughs) That's all right. What the stream look? What was the stream looking like, dude? Strong? Uh, yeah, I'm the, more of the let the gravity do the work stage in my yeah. p- my pissing career at this point. <laughs> <laughs> you don't need to tell me. I've had a weak stream my whole yeah. life. I'm at the uh, weird kind of pains and tingles in my prostate and balls stage in my career. <laughs> <laughs> not really sure what. Now, it's funny. It's like you get to this place where it's like you learn to not go to the doctor for anything. You have to learn that because they don't tell you that like, yeah, things are just going to start feeling shitty, Mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. Your body's just going to keep breaking down. There's just pains you have to deal with forever. Yeah. There's going to some, occasionally it'll feel like somebody jammed a toothpick through your eye vertically (laughs) and there's not, you're not going to know why, but you just deal with that shit and then you go on with your life. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. Uh, you let it pass. Sometimes your asshole is going to be on fire. That's when I was talking to my cousin's like fiance. And she was like, you know, I was saying like when I get to sixty and things start breaking down, it's like you know things start hurting. That's when I want to go or whatever. And it's like that starts when you're like twenty seven. Yeah, yeah. It's just it gets perpetually worse. It's like it starts off with like oh I got trigger finger, you know, or something small or like you know, and then by the time you're fifty seven, it's like. Yeah, I had to get half my nose cut off. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and it's yeah. like that sounds awful. Yeah, I can't. Like, I can't use my left leg. Yeah, time there's any humidity outside. No, my kneecaps they kind of slid down the front of my shins and now <laughs> on my feet, and it's excruciating. I can't jump rope anymore. My ball, I keep tripping over my balls. Yeah, my knees sometimes just snap backwards in the opposite direction, and the bone. The, sh- the bottom bone jams, it goes up my, alongside my femur and jams into my rectum. <laughs> <laughs> and I have to go to the hospital to get my legs pulled out of my ass. <laughs> yeah, my legs just rape my ass sometimes. Yeah. Uh, I get raped by my own <laughs> leg bones. Yeah. <laughs> Getting older. Yeah, my body sucks. Ugh, I've been, I've been like, uh, I think relatively okay health-wise, but... There's going to be, I'm going to be one of those people at like 55. It's just everything's going to go No, nah, because you I got a, little, a delicate little body. I just have shitty you got the stuff body of, in my. You got a little ballerina body. Yeah, I have like a survivor's body, mm-hmm. I think. But no, like I just have roach. shitty genetics. I got shitty Ashkenazi Jewish genetics where I'm going to get fucking Tay Sachs and Parkinson's and yeah, Alzheimer's. You're too, you're too inbred. I think I am too inbred. That's why I'm. I'm Definitely mating outside the outside the gene pool. How different? What's the most different? What's the most different genes from a Jew? What do you mean in the world? The most different, like uh, diverse. Diverse. I don't know. I have no idea. They're. I don't know. They're Ethiopian Jews. Probably like a probably probably like a dog. What? Probably a dog. Maybe a dog. Be on the other end of the spectrum. Yeah, loyal, maybe a little Pomeranian. Loyal, <laughs> yeah, loyal, fucking not conniving, <laughs> yeah. incapable of it. 
They're fuzzy. Yeah, you should fuck a dog. They bring things to you. I might instead do of that. take instead of taking. Instead, instead of you. taking, I've bring. looked at my dog's <laughs> pussy a couple times and been like, hmm, you know. Nice. And on yeah, that, maybe. and on that you know. note, we say goodbye, folks. <laughs> That's the final note of the show: is that Adam looked at his dog's pussy. A I have admired her pussy. <laughs> I haven't done anything about it, but I've looked. Have you put your finger in her pussy? No, I haven't touched it on purpose. Never? But I've probably brushed against her pussy a couple times. But no, I haven't inserted my finger in my dog's pussy. I don't know. I haven't looked at a dog's pussy. There's no way for her to consent. That's why I'm teaching her. If you taught it, If you taught a dog tricks, like they can one paw for yes, one paw for no, then maybe you could teach it to consent. I don't know. That dog is like a five-year-old kid, you know? I don't think she could ever consent. So you That's win. the only thing keeping me back is her <laughs> intellect. <laughs> but you want to fuck her. Not the fact to be that, clear, yeah, of course. You want to well, fuck I'm your make, dog. Make love. I wouldn't, wouldn't Here, look, bang her I'll put, I'll put in the chat. Here comes Adam and his wife. <laughs> oh, fuck. Let me take a look. I'd love to take a look at what Adam's wife looks like. Oh my god. Oh my lord, I'm freaking horny. There's Adam and his wife right there. <laughs> is that oh, Jeff Daniels? Is it in Mr. the chat in the like oh yeah. In the, in the <laughs> it's, a, it's a horse. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Fuck, sorry guys. You can't see it. It's a horse it's wearing a hat cool. with flowers on it and sunglasses. <laughs> it's a very elegant horse, I guess. Right. Yeah. No, like that's not his wife, that's his husband because he's getting fucked by a horse, but he fucks a dog. It is he a wants Mr. to get Hands. fucked by something with a bigger dick and fuck something with a mm-hmm. small pussy. Yeah, I'm a classic switch, you know. Mm-hmm. I'm Your ver- ass is too voracious. I let horses have sex with me, but I fuck dogs. Yeah. <laughs> classic verse. Ah, uh, fuck. Um, I gotta do yoga. I gotta do yoga after this, get limber. I gotta have lunch. What are you eating? What's on the menu? I'm not sure. Let's talk lunch. I don't know. It's honestly, that is like what you have to talk about with people. Like, oh, how was your dinner last night? Honestly, yeah. Yeah. That's really it. Are you chewing ice cubes, Nick? Huh? Are you chewing ice cubes? No. Adam's Adam's, Adam's, uh, wrapping his fingers on the table. I'm drinking coffee. Nice. I'm not showing ice cube. Very nice, brother. All right. Well, okay, folks. Yeah, that's. Well, uh, which movie should I see, guys? Episode. Before we go, I don't know. Oh, watch um, watch uh, the driver. The driver with Ryan O'Neill. Yeah. Okay. Sick. I watched it this week. Who's oh. Ryan O'Neill? He's uh, he played Barry Lyndon. Yeah, he was in a he was a movie star stuff. <laughs> Famous movie star. <laughs> He's uh, oh the uh, famous movie. He was in the Last Picture Show. Yeah, who's it's Jack? Not- who's Jack Nicholson? <laughs> Ryan O'Neill sounds like a like a fucking a guy who's like into Paxson. Wait, who's Warren Beatty? Yeah, who's I know like who an X Games kind of guy. I mean, if you know who Warren Beatty is, you should know who Ryan O'Neill is. Ryan O'Neill's a very famous actor. Yeah. Fuck him, dude. Fuck him. All right, well, <laughs> folks. <laughs> All right, see you guys later. <laughs> later.